Congratulations, your electricity bill this month is nothing? We've known for years that wind industry has the potential to play a significant role within the nation's energy mix, but no practical options seem to be available. Enter BE Wind and their urban wind turbine. This Kickstarter project features a sharply designed wind-based energy solution for city dwellers and businesses alike. Alicia Berdan from BE Wind is up next on Crowded Places. Hello everyone and thanks for watching Crowded Places, the web show that highlights crowdfunded projects and the people behind them. As always, I'm Curtis Hollister. Joining me today is Alicia Burdan from BE Win. Alicia, welcome to the show. Thank you, Curtis. It's great to be here. So Alicia, your company has designed kind of a, a low profile, cool looking wind turbine that looks like it could go almost anywhere and not really be out of place. You know, what's the story behind the urban wind turbine, you know, and give us a little background. Well, the urban wind turbine was actually manufactured in a company that my father owns, and we have a long, long history in the aerospace industry. And about four years ago, uh, a man approached us about helping him create an urban wind turbine. And so we helped him design and engineer, and then overall we built it. And he took it out into testing, put it in wind tunnels. Uh, we had it on two different buildings in Fort Worth, Texas for roughly about a year. And he brought it back to us and we eventually, you know, bought the rights to actually own and produce it. And we're kind of where we are now, trying to kickstart it off and get our product out there to help people start saving and finding a new new way to generate their power. So so your family, your your dad is one of the designers is really have been in the aerospace industry and, and as a designer and then as kind of branched off to create this kind of cool design that's kind of got a different approach than these traditional, you know, when I imagine a wood turbine, these big blades turning around and so forth, you know, what's the rationale behind this design? And what are some of the design elements that really, I guess, differentiate it? Um, well, we came into it with kind of a criteria. We had to meet several standards because it was going in an urban environment that other wind turbines didn't have to meet. So we wanted it to be lightweight to work in low wind speeds. It had to be, of course, sexy. It had to look great when it got out there. Um, and we had to, we wanted to make it a vertical access wind turbine. Um, so we took the, the idea of a vertical access wind turbine and put, you know, put it through some testing prior to actually building it and found out that building two blades next to each other was kind of would work a lot better than just one blade. And we built kind of a nose cone in front of it to help direct it so that it always angles into the oncoming wind and then it directs the wind into the blade so you don't have any op opposing resistance wind against the blades. Uh, one of the neat things about it is the actual blades came out of a kind of a design inspired by a professor in Egypt and we took it and we refined it to work in a way that kind of a, an aircraft wing works. It has a lift so it self propels itself within the wind. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's a lot of the the aerospace elements that your your dad has been involved with historically. I mean, it looks it looks like a wing effectively in some ways, like a, with a little more curvature to it. Now, depending on the kind of turbine that's at the the bottom of it, I know that there's different kinds of of turbines that you can have. How many of of these would would you need to power a standard home, say, or an apartment in the in the U.S.? Well, that, there's a lot of factors that depend on that, and a lot of people ask those things. And it depends on your wind speed, where you live. Uh, do you have obstructions that you would have to put the turbine too high? There's a lot of city regulations, especially around communities where people live, in which you can't put a turbine if it falls and lands on your neighbor's house. And also, in a lot of places, uh, is it hard to get the grid out to you? It might be a better place to have a wind turbine. There's a lot of Texas tends to be really low in cost on electricity, but places like New York City and the East Coast pay a lot more per kilowatt. And this could help to reduce what they're spending and also maybe help people to use less energy, to, to go green and not be wasteful. 
Yeah, I can imagine almost any major kind of vertical building, like high-rise building, having a, a small farm of these or uh, on top of the building in space that, you know, really doesn't get used for anything otherwise. Exactly, yes. So yes, we'd like to, to put them up there. And uh, urban cities are a little bit different. The wind isn't direct like you have out in, say, West Texas, where there's just you know, flat land and into cities and urban environments, the wind's ever changing. So our turbine's built to capture that wind and not just stand in one direction. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, I mean, the, the, you guys are, are, are focusing and, and playing in a big area, obviously, like, you know, and I'm a, a big fan of projects that, that, that play with big ideas, like the future of energy. You yes. know, what, what's your take on where energy is going as far as kind of a national strategy within the U.S., say, 20 years from now? What's, what's, what's our energy consumption going to look like? Well, I hope it becomes less, and I hope we stop using coal and oil. I'd like to say I'm an optimistic. I'd like to think that we are going to make a change. We are going to get somewhere in our country to, to do better, and not just in the United States, but all over the world. I recently attended the South by Southwest Eco Tour in Austin, Texas, somewhere around 2,000 people, and it felt great to be surrounded by people who are looking to find ways to, to promote this kind of stuff, to get us out of um, the dead ways, to get off that dead fish and start swimming in a new direction and help, help our environment to grow back to what it used to be and stop killing our, not only ourselves, but our environment with the use of traditional oil and coal energy production. Now, I, 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 although this is like you're kind of calling it an urban wind turbine, this could definitely be used in a lot of developing nations, whether it's within their kind of urban centers or just, just in remote villages and, and so forth. It's probably very inexpensive to set up relatively. And, um, you know, every house could have one of their own to supplement their, their energy and, and so forth. I mean, have you thought about how this could be used in the developing world? Uh, definitely, yes. Um, Canada we've looked at, which is in a developing country, but uh, we actually met a engineer yesterday who had approached us about an idea of Nigeria and building up their infrastructure. And one of their ideas is how to create power, how to make a grid. And he had an idea of instead of doing centralized power like we are here, but, you know, expanding it out, you know, using things like small wind turbines to help power communities so they're not so reliable on that central energy power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think it offered, I mean, just this whole energy space and, and the trans, I guess the, the migration or the trending towards it, I think it offers just a ton of opportunity for the nation as far as green jobs. People have to implement these things. People have to like, you know, maintain them. There's just a, a huge opportunity that I think is just barely being tapped into. Definitely. There's a big discussion on uh, environmental versus economy and kind of why can't our economy, you know, take a part into this, not only help the environment, but with clean tech energy, you could supply all those jobs that are missing right now. And a lot's going on with the, the bill in Congress about wind power and how many jobs it could create, which would help solve our current unemployment rate, which has been a huge topic, I know, during this presidential candidate. Exactly. So, I mean, you guys are on Kickstarter. Let's talk a little bit about how people can participate with your project. You're raising $250,000. Um, maybe give us a little background on who should be looking at this project. I mean, like I said, it's a big idea. Um, what kind of people should be looking at it? And what options have you set up for them to kind of be a backer and, and, and some of the price levels? Um, well, I'd like to think everybody should be a backer of projects like this. We're kind of all in the same boat. It's one world. And it's not just going to affect, you know, a certain elite people or a certain non-elite people. It's going to affect us all when our energy, the, the style of energy we use now dies. And we're going to be thoroughly shocked by how much our lifestyle will change if not all of us stick together to do something about it. Um, we've looked into a lot of, uh, you know, people should promote this kind of thing because they want, you know, better communities. They want a green environment in which to live in. And there's a lot of new things coming out. There's a LEED standard for buildings, and I think they're getting ready to pass a, or make a certified standard for actual homes so that people at their homes can be LEED certified, which would be fantastic. Um, we're trying to use Kickstarter to help people be aware of what options they have out there for green energy while trying to promote and help us 
raise capital to do those kind of things. And so we've offered things like, you know, jackets, um, we'll print blueprints out so that you have a blueprint of the actual wind turbine. Um, Which is, that's very yeah. cool, actually. On your wall, that'd be a very cool kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I love uh, growing up here with my father in the manufacturing industry. It's always neat to watch something on a 2D drawing uh, be created into something physical and give it to that person and, and know that you made that happen. So I think it's neat to have plans, and I've always loved uh, documentation of stuff. So the blueprint thing I thought was a really neat idea for us to do. And I think you've also got little miniatures and so forth. Um, people can can pay to get a miniature effectively. I mean, that's a, again, in somebody's office, like what a unique kind of conversation piece yes. to show that you back this kind of an idea. Yes, I think so too. And 3D printing is something that's huge right now. And I actually have a few pieces of like chess pieces that somebody printed for me with a 3D printer. And so I thought it would be awesome to be able to make our turbine into a small model and let people have that and maybe hope to dream to have a real life size one one day. Absolutely. Um, so, I mean, when do you guys think this is going to become like a, a commercial reality? You guys, obviously, you're a, a sophisticated business within the uh, aerospace industry. You're transferring a lot of that learning and capability and skills and expertise into this urban wind turbine. When do you think that you will commercialize this? And what kind of channels are you looking for? You mentioned that you've, you've gotten a lot of exposure with Kickstarter. I mean, what, are you looking for partnerships as well? Like, what, what if people are going to approach you, what are some of the things that you're, you're looking to get out of this? Um, well, I guess we'd like to go into commercialization by next year. It would be lovely to have that happen. Um, I think the channels we're kind of looking for is we're definitely open to partnerships. We're open to investors. Um, you know, we're here to provide something for people to make the world better. And so we're always open to any kind of ideas. Um, we're also looking for people who want to install these, for architects who, who want to start designing buildings to be more environmentally green and have these help in that. Um, so that kind of stuff. Electricians, too. There is a bit of wiring that goes on to be able to wire it back into your house. So we're looking through a few channels. and. There's been a lot of help from environmental groups just in our city, in our area, and they've been very interested in trying to help promote it and find people to help us get our business off the ground. Yeah, I mean, and, and again, if like a venture capital and investors and so forth, I mean, you, you're not just like a, somebody that has an idea. You actually know how to build a business with the aerospace. You've got, you know, this new, um, this new kind of channel and, and customer segment. I mean, I think you'll be able to attract the, the, the right kind of investors just given the pedigree that you bring to the table. Yes, definitely. We hope so. We're, we're trying to get in there. Uh, Alicia, where can people find you on the Internet if they're, they're looking to get a little more information? Um, we don't have a website up yet. Uh, we do have a Facebook up there that we're trying to get updated. Um, you can definitely find us on Kickstarter, of course. Um, we're up on LinkedIn. We're putting ourselves on Twitter. We put some videos on YouTube. So we're trying to make this, uh, get it into the media. Um, we're doing a lot of work, trying, definitely trying to get a website up so that people can get readily have that information available for them to get. Well, I mean, I think I think it's a, a great project. And, and thanks so much for creating something like this because, I mean, the world needs people like you and your dad to, to basically put themselves out there, take some of these risks that are going to make a difference on our society, not just today, but like 50 years from now. I think so, too. Yeah, we have to start planning for our future generations and somebody's got to do it. <laughs> well, thanks again. Thank you. If you'd like to check out and back the Urban Wind Turbine, go to Kickstarter, search for Urban Wind, and click on the Back This Project button. For more Crowded Places videos, you can visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash TV. I'm Curtis Hollister. Thanks so much for watching.